Hey, it's Brian from Team Aquascape, and I am back out in St. Charles for the second time in one year at the exact same location. And we are gonna rebuild a water feature twice in one year. You wanna know why? Stay tuned. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So yes, we are building a water feature for the second time in the same year, and here's why. Unfortunately, this thing developed a leak. It ran for about a month and then started leaking, and for over a year, we've been trying to hunt down where this leak is at. We've done pipe tests. We've diagnosed that it's not the plumbing. We've diagnosed that it's not this pool. It's not that pool. It's not the reservoir. It only leaks about two inches a day, which is actually, it's not a huge leak, but it's still a leak, and we've got to fix it. And I I put myself in the customer's shoes and they've been extremely patient watching pipes dragged out all over the place trying to fix this trying to fix that and at the end of all this we just can't find it it's got to be underneath one of these giant boulders in here someplace and there's no way for us to get around that so i said what would i do if i were the customer and i had paid this kind of money to have a custom one-of-a-kind gorgeous gorgeous feature and it never worked i'd want it fixed and i'd want it fixed the right way so we're going to rip this whole baby out and rebuild it and i I guess mentally I'm just kind of like um, that sucks but at the same time I really like building waterfalls so let's build another waterfall and make this thing bigger badder better than it ever was before which is gonna be hard to do because it's actually really gorgeous in fact if you want to see the entire construction of this thing check out the link below where you can see Chris do a whole walkthrough of this gorgeous gorgeous project and uh, what it looked like the first time around but this time we're making this thing bomb proof I'm talking bigger reservoir I'm talking concrete claw I'm talking and extra fabric, <laughs> anything we can possibly do. And we're gonna see if we can give them just a little different look. Not that it has to be better, it'll just be different. All right, here we go. So we're slowly starting to tear this thing apart. One of the things we really have to try to focus on is I don't wanna disrupt a lot of the landscape. So you can see Juan up here I can. grabbing the rocks. The other thing we don't wanna do is like put a bunch of scratch marks on them. So we just barely kind of pull them out. Chris straps them, we're gonna put them over there. And then as we get further and further down, we'll just kind of keep moving down and that allows that machine to get in here. Now that rock is enormous. So we're gonna have to get that machine down in here pretty close to move that thing. We'll just kind of bring that machine right through here, plucking out the rocks, staging them back over there, and then we'll just put it back together. It'll be fun, right? It'll be fun. <laughs> hey, we're building waterfalls and we're outside. How could it not be fun? Well, that's a wrap for today. Based off of this area, it doesn't look like we got much done, but all of that is taken away. So we've gotten most of the rock out here, minus these few, everything's strapped and put up there. And then this giant tarp is sitting out here because they're anticipating a little more than an inch and a half of rain tomorrow, which would really make this a muddy, muddy mess, especially with all the plants and the mulch and stuff gone. So we've got it tarped. And if history proves itself to be accurate, every time we put a tarp down, it doesn't rain. So let's hopefully this keeps the rain gods at bay <laughs> see you guys tomorrow bye so we've got the whole thing demoed all ready to go we're gonna make a bigger reservoir so we're gonna do about a 1500 gallon reservoir a little bit bigger uh, that's about 50 aqua blocks uh, each aqua block that represents a space of 30 gallons so you can see everything is torn out all the rock is up there gravel is sitting in those containers way up in there so today's goal is to get the hole excavated 50 aqua blocks in here and then we'll start rebuilding this thing tomorrow.
What's up everybody? This is Chris Zeschke from Team Aquascape. Got a lot done today. Finished rocking in the basin. About 50 large aqua blocks. Finished the plumbing as well. Started on this little waterfall up here. We got two of them it looks like. On the right and the left. Coming down a little bit right there. Crashing down. Coming through here. And we'll bib line this right up in here so then all that water will come in. And we were thinking about putting another waterfall right here. Just a small one just to finish it off. Yeah. Made a lot of good progress today. Hopefully Brian likes it. See you guys later. What's up everybody? It is Jack, Jack, Udi, and Chris Z out here today. We are out here on this job that Chris Z and Udi started last week, pulling up all this rock, cause we're at, we're redoing it. But it's currently Tuesday morning, the day after Halloween yesterday, we had to get pulled off due to the rain. We just couldn't work out here. It was just too muddy for us to be out here. Let me spin you guys around and show you what we have in store today. So right now the guys are getting ready to do a seam over on this side. This liner, it was a little bit short on this side and we just wanna make sure that we get all our bases covered. So they're just going through, prepping that for the seam this morning so we can get that out, out of the way. Once we get done with that seam, we're gonna flop this liner back on top of the basin and we're gonna carve out this entire pooling area all into here. That way we can fill this liner back once and that way we can start slamming the rocks in. Our goal is to today for probably to get somewhat of this waterfall done and possibly into our middle peninsula area here. So hopefully we can get to that point today, weather permitting. I know it's supposed to be super nice out in the 70s later on. We're gonna get the seam done and we're gonna be going. seam done our bottom pulling area all excavated out and now we are setting our frame rock for our kind of our first waterfall dumping into the stream so this is gonna be our left side of our split waterfalls and then we're gonna kind of see jack's thinking i guess his smoke coming out of his ears right now on which way he wants this uh, rock right. sitting so just right. give you guys a little heads up it is getting nicer outside it was a little nippy this morning but it's gonna Fourth turn man. out to be a really nice day Get warm pretty quick well first set of waterfalls are already in place we're, we're doing pretty good we got jack and chris up top and in the machine what do you want to say, Udi? One more scoop there. Yes, please. As I was saying, we have Udi up in the machine, Chris Z and Jack up there. He's waving. They're all strapping rocks. And then Jack and I are down here kind of setting them up and forming them into place. So we have this waterfall up here. This one's going to be really cool. We're looking for a lot of like crashy style whitewater action going on. So we're going to have water kind of splitting around this hump here. It's going to dump around this rock, kind of dump onto itself from these sides over here, kind of forming together and then dumping into this pooling area here. So we're getting all that done. We have that set so we can kind of work off that we have this rock set that we just set earlier and then we're going to set another one down in here and then get our cobble beach in on this side and kind of work our way out that way it allows access for the machine as efficient as possible and then we can keep cruising outside of this pooling area and working our way out so just give you guys a little heads up we're just taking some dirt back filling back behind these rocks that way we don't take wheelbarrows and risk dumping them all on the uh, patio and causing a bigger mess so once we get to a point we'll be able to start back filling and kind of doing all these edges and getting out of this area and working our way out of here up the day good amount of progress done the left side falls pretty much framed out in that little pooling area all racked in came into a little trouble this morning just with the clay and wet conditions it was really hard to get a nice flat base to set all the rocks in but we made do with what we had really happy with how this is turning out so far and uh should crank away the right side tomorrow and hopefully get a running by friday easily get a running by friday so what do you think mr p i think we did pretty good for this being the first full day um, with all of us out here i know last week Udi and chris were out here with chris felder and his guys and they were just plucking away at dismantling this and getting the basin in and it made some nice groundwork for us to come in and start setting these waterfalls and everything let me show you guys what we uh, accomplished so when we showed up today they had the basin done and it pretty much rocked in from this rock here all the way in but then there was no edges done so we came in made our seam for over there got that done that took up some better portion of the morning we folded this liner back excavated that entire pooling area got those waterfalls in and that left side done and all our edges done so i think we made pretty good progress for the day today tomorrow we're going to come in put our concrete cloth back behind those waterfalls 
waterfalls. Uh, pull our liner back and back up against those waterfalls. Kind of get those left side done and out of the way. That way we can focus on this right side, which is going to be sitting over here. And then this more of a stream type look effect that we're going for on this waterfall. So it's currently Tuesday, the day after Halloween. I think we made pretty good progress for the day for only being the four of us out here. And tomorrow it's going to be another gorgeous day. And we're going to come out here and crank some more uh, rock out. So hopefully you guys like this video and stay tuned. We will talk to you guys tomorrow.